Hello. All right. This is Roberto from Latitude Maya Tours, right, Roberto? Right. And we're here. Where are we today? Well, we are visiting a special place named Sibanche. Sibanche is a beautiful place in the middle of the jungle. Was basically discovered by Thomas Gans in 1927. Was uh, rediscovered by archaeologists until 1994 in the project Soul of Quintana Roo. The special of this place is, without hesitation, this, this structure. Yeah. This is a number. Let's take six. a look. We'll walk a little closer. Mm -hmm. Number six structure. Um, actually, this one is the one that is, gives the name of this place, which is Sibanche. Yeah, I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer here. One of the things that we just arrived here, but one of the things that I love about it is, first of all, we're here on an excursion. We, we came in on a cruise ship on the Costa Maya port, and it is about a two-hour drive, but you get here, and the wonderful thing is by coming a little further is you escape the crowds, right, Roberto? That's right. We are the only tourists here right now, and it's a beautiful day, pretty much almost the, almost the only tourists here. And to see all the trees here, there's a beautiful... Uh, you are basically in the middle of the jungle, aren't you? That's right. That's right. Basically, this place was covered up by the jungle once it was abandoned. And archaeologists have made a good job by cutting down the trees around. But you can see this is still the jungle. And you are allowed to climb the steps, correct? Allowed. Let's go. Perfect. So we're here up at the top of Zibanche, an amazing Mayan archaeological site in Quintana Roo province, state, Mexico. And uh, this is one of the few that you can still climb up the top of the main temple here. And uh, this is an incredible place. This is, we took this uh, as an excursion here on Latitude Maya. It's a two hour um, drive from Costa Maya port, which is where we came from. And uh, this is amazing because first of all, we're the only tourists here, which I absolutely love. And this site is really in the jungle. So you hear the birds, there's monkeys here. You see they weren't quite a jungle. This is my family down there and the guides who are chit-chatting. But other than that, it's just us here. So it's just incredible. You feel like you're sort of, you can rediscover a Mayan site. Because you're, you're coming here, you're walking through the parking lot, through this canopy of trees. And then you come upon this magnificent temple that you can, you can climb up. It's just, a, just an amazing place. Yes, it is worth the effort to come to Zibanche. Highly recommend this place, just beautiful. And of course you have Tinich now, which is just about five minutes away too, so you can actually hit two right in the same. So we're still at Zibanche here, and um, Roberto is saying that these are the tombs, is that right? It's all right. Actually, the archaeologists found here like three chambers. Uh, the excavation began from the top, and then found right there an empty tomb, like a fake tomb. They keep going down, they found a second one, and at the bottom, they found a very special chamber. A very special, very special tomb. Mayans, they believe that the special people deserve the special chambers. So the guy who was buried right there, for sure, was very special. Mm -hmm. And does this also date before Christ? This is 580. 580. 580. In the temple number 6 was 200 to 300 they, BC? They, they began to, to build the temple 200 to 300 BC. And okay. the last stage of construction will lie. Mm. 600 to 780. It's the same like this one. They began to build this one in a time before Christ. And then end, they finished, they stopped building this one like 780. 780. And when was the site abandoned? The city was abandoned nearly 1,000 AD. 1,000 AD. Mm -hmm. Similar to other Mayan sites. Many of them were abandoned at the same time, but there is places that were abandoned like a century, two hundred centuries. After, after this one right, right here and some cities before this one and which are we looking at this this other building that building over there in front of us is standing for the captive building it's got like a, a suit with carvings so we can understand, on, understand we can understand the mayan people they have not only people guys but warriors so they yep. have different responsibilities. One of them is to capture people from other places in order to take them prisoner. Necessities of the gods.
so much shade here at Zibanche. It's such a nice, such a beautiful site because you have all of these beautiful trees here. It's a very natural setting. So we're back at Zibanche still. And tell us what this, uh, this is. This was a chamber, a tomb. This is what they found in the excavations. So from up there, you can go all the way down and you will find an access where the archaeologists found these vessels. And this conch mask here, right here. So tombs were made only for special guys, right? So the girl buried here was in 300 years AD. Like a queen. A queen. Queen buried here in 300 AD? AD. Mm -hmm. Is that how old this structure is? Yeah, the beginning. The beginning of it. They keep building on top of it new stages of construction. When the day end, we, well, we can see well, what the vegetation left to us. was a special build with decoration all over, probably mask side to side, yeah. and the rooftop, at the, the rooftop at the very top, and then the, the temple, the entrance to the, to the temple, and obviously the entrance to the chamber, to the tomb. This is going to be the last part to this video, guys. I would just want to recommend to you highly Latitude Maya to come and take this tour with them because this is an amazing place. And as you can see, we have it pretty much all to ourselves. It's an amazing uh, tour. I highly recommend you guys to come here. It's worth the drive and it's worth the effort to come here. Yeah. Very peaceful and quiet. 